In this movie we're going to have a look at setting up our relative levels and making sure that all the stories above the RLs are at logical or displayed in a logical manner. So first of all we're just putting in a simple slab which once it's selected you can see that it's at zero, the top of it is at zero, our project zero and it has a thickness of minus 100. But the walls at the moment is the base is at zero and the top of the wall is at 3000. The windows sill is at 900. So by using this technique we're going to minimize the amount of documentation we have to edit later on down into the project because all our building elements will be displayed in relation to the slab or the zero height or our project zero and the site will be displayed in relation to the RLs so we don't have to redimension anything and a lot of it's already automated. Now as I'm using the term RL, that term can be substituted for maybe AHD or Australian Height Datum or any other level or secondary level that we might want to impose on our project and in our instance that secondary level is usually going to be given to us by a site surveyor of some sort. So in this project we're going to assume that the slab is sitting at 27,550 above our relative level that we're going to place in there and everything and of course the top of my slab will stay at zero and the walls will obviously all relate to that zero slab not the RL. So from here I'm going to go and go to the story settings dialog box. Here we can see that the site is set to minus 100 and this is actually the thickness of my slab so my site is sitting 100 millimeters below my slab or in other words the slab will sit nicely on top of our site. If we go up to the ground floor which is the next level over here we can see that any walls that we draw will be positioned starting from zero going up to three meters which will be the underside of our first floor. So I'm not going to use the Australian height datum figures, so I'm not going to put tw I'm not going to add 27,550 to each of these dimensions, which may require a bit of um, calculation once we're actually in our project. If we leave all the levels here, it's quite legible and easy to understand. We don't have to do any calculations. But if we put in the Australian height datum or the height above sea level of our block, it pumps all these figures up, and you have to add 20. 25, 550 or whatever the figure is to all these dimensions and it can be quite confusing or at least it can be a bit of a chore to work out the exact positioning of all our stories. I'm just going to go to the slab only, the plan view. This is the slab and the site. So this is a building with a site. So if I click on all, this site is completely flat and it has the depth or the height here of minus two meters so as you can see the site is sitting at minus 100 in relation to the slab which is at project zero and the thickness of the object is minus two meters the first step that we're going to do is go to the options or the properties of the project and I'm going to set the model unit to meters and accuracy to two decimal points. That'll allow us to work to RLs as the surveyor has actually drawn them. And we're also going to pick one of the reference levels and I'm going to name this, rename this reference level as RL. And I'm going to put a space after it. This name will allow us to create our labels without having to type anything. And as we know, the slab level is 27.55. I'm going to set my reference level to negative 27.55, which is the distance in meters. The other thing I want to set now is the dimensions and set the level dimensions also to meters and also with two decimal points of accuracy. And push OK. So at the moment all our input is in meters so we'll be able to type 
dimensions in without having to do any calculations at all. So now I'm going to select the mesh and then I'm going to start setting levels on our level lines. I'll start with the lower ones down here, go to the Z value and I'm going to set this at 500mm below the next line so this can be 26.95 so before that I'm going to set two things in here first of all I'm going to work in relation to the RL secondly I'm going to say apply to all because we want the entire contour to have the same level and I'm going to set this to 26.95 then I'm going to hit the next line this is 400mm below our level so that's correct and this one here is 500mm below so 2RL apply to all 27.95 push OK all I need to do now is to set up the levels for the corners of the site and starting with this one apply to all obviously doesn't apply because we just want to grab the corner the height should be set to RL and this one's going to be 28.00 this one here can be 26.90 this one's going to be 26.65 and the last one is going to be 27.65 okay now if we go if we switch to the 3D view we can see that the site has been changed, the levels have been applied to it. Obviously part of our slope disappears under the site, but that's not an issue at the moment. But the levels are set correctly to show a bit of fall over the block. The next thing that we want to do is to actually put down some RLs and force them to actually read the distance to the reference level. So I'm just going to select the level dimension tool, have a look at the settings. I'm going to pick that at 2 meters. We want to frame our label because that's normally how you would represent your RLs. We're just going to set the text to 7 millimeters just for the sake of legibility on the screen here and I'm going to push OK. The next very important step is that we have to set the gravity tool, gravity to site. So when we drop our levels, the level will dimension, the level dimension will actually read the site. Then I can just start placing RLs down. At the moment it's reading 0 0.4, which is in meters, just like we set it in preferences. The reason for that is that our slab which is at zero and this level line is 100 millimeters below and it's rising up by 0.5 of a meter from the last contour line. Now we need to convert this RL text into the correct format. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Now I'm not selecting the marker I'm actually going to select the text by the little handle there and on the main toolbar I'm going to scroll back till it says measured value instead of measured value I'm going to change this to automatic text and then from the same dialog box we're going to select the text in quotation marks which is the plain text this is not a measurement this is plain text and the RL with the space is already inserted then click there again and put the value that reads 2RL and it reads RL 27.95 which is exactly what we set it to of course we could drop more levels and edit each one of those but what I can also do simply select this level dimension and drag multiple copies and place them wherever we need them and they should all read the correct value whatever we've set the levels that when we're creating the site obviously there's no point in putting RL levels on both sides of the level line because they're just going to be the same but, but just for the sake of the exercise we are going to put them there anyway 
In fact, wherever I decide to drop these RLs, it will read the correct RL value. I could also put the RL values at the corner of our slab so we can see how high above the site our slab will be. And obviously the same thing how far below the surface the slab would be. Now we're going to cancel these and just delete a couple of these. We're probably going a bit overboard there. The same thing I can do with a slab. Pick the RL tool, pick gravity to slab and plonk the level dimension on the slab and once again it's reading 0, 0, so I have to pick the actual text again. Click on the measured value, click or convert it to automatic text, click on 2RL, and then the RL value. There we've got the RL in relation to the Australian height datum. And of course this transposes through to the second floor, so if I was going to add another slab at, say, or another floor structure, upper floor, to this level here. And put an RL dimension here, making sure that the gravity is set to the site. Again, I can have the proper RL of the slab. Now the only thing that's left to do is to go back to the preferences and set the model unit in the first part in working units and levels back to millimetres with accuracy of zero. The level dimensions will stay in metres because if we were to change that it would obviously change the way the levels read on the floor plans. Every object that we select now or will be giving us in relation to our project zero. I'm just creating a hole there. Then you can st then you can just keep working in your model like you would with any other project.